Hi and welcome back to my playthrough of Kerbal Space Program. If you recall in the previous video as I was doing a mission to Jewel, which obviously you can see in, in the background there, and one of the main focuses of it was Lathe itself. And as I previously mentioned, I'm going to be dumping science put on it, which you can see towards the left hand side of it. This allowed me to reset the experiments for the rover, which you can see to the bottom right of the screen. Now I had a bit of trouble with the science pod because I noticed there's no controls mechanisms on it except for Megjeb, which doesn't let you turn a ship around or anything like that. So I'm, I'm going to try and wing sort of landing this somewhere flat where where it can be useful and not fall over. Because I've done this pre a couple of times previously and it's fallen over, which isn't really much good use. Now once I get that down in one piece, I'll then land the um, cross between the rover and the well. I'm not sure what is the cross between really. You see at the bottom bottom of this screen. It's designed to go on on land and sea. So if you've got any good suggestions on what to call it, let me know in this in the comments section below. So without further ado, let me see if we can get the science spot down in one piece. Okay, and after a few failed attempts, I think this time we've actually got it. Somewhere we can land, that's A, on solid ground, B, not a mountain that I'm going to fall over on. So, here we go, with the re-entry. like my looks held out for once. I've landed on somewhere that is, well, stable. Land around it's fairly flat. I think I can attempt to land a space plane on that, or two even. And best of all as well, it's not too far from the water, so three for three there. Well, I say not too far from the water. It's going to be a little bit of, bit of an adventure. But anyway, I'm confident that the first step of this lathe operation has gone well so far. Okay, and here we go with the next step, getting the landing craft down to it. And now hopefully I should have enough fuel to to keep this whole craft back in orbit. Because on the back of it it's got some hitchhiker pods that I'd like to deliver to the space station if possible. And also the hauler itself isn't exactly too bad of a ship to be ha having around in the Julian system for various hauling stuff around operations.
Oh crap. Propellers work as well, bonus. And there we have it, we're finally at the Layer Science Base. And like I said, I'm going to rename this, I think, to something a bit more a bit more appropriate. So I'll change it to Base. Layer Science Outpost. Awesome, so that's two out of four. All I need to do is bring down my space planes now. So let's just check on them where they uh, where they're at. Okay, now the next stage of what I'm gonna do is try and get my one both my space planes down to the layer science base in one piece. So, without further ado, I'll I'll try it though. I'm not really much of a flyer, more of an engineer really. But you know, I'll have a go with it. Just a moment, just taking some of the scenery from Lathe. See to your left, what looks like an impact crater. Dead ahead, um, yet another impact crater. And oceans all around. I think in the development streams, Nova's previously wanted to make this kind of volcanic world. I, I bloody eruptions here and there. Pools of lava that will burn you for you, and if you go wandering into it, no, I don't think I'll stop some people from trying to get samples and whatever from it. People will stop me, well, at least not the first time. But I think that's going to be, well, probably much later versions of KSP really. At the moment, we don't really have to worry about environmental conditions. I think the only hostile planet we've ever, ever had has been Moho, and that was in back in version point seventeen, where the atmosphere would burn you up if you went into it. Louis, there were still parts of the planet you could land on if you were at high enough elevations. But anyway.
There we go, that's some kind of majestic eagle. Thankfully, I seem to have been lucky and get my science pod down at somewhere relatively flat. Or, uh, should I say, relatively flat for lathe, that is. I think I'm also slightly, slightly on a slope as well. Hey, success at last, third time lucky. Finally get it down and within one kilometre of the base as well, which is a nice bonus. I guess the next thing to do is to bring down the other space plane now, and hopefully that one will go smoothly enough. Let's take a brief moment just to back out and have a quick look around. See where we are in relation to the rest of lathe. Now I've actually got it down in one piece. I'm going to do the most important thing, that is save. Next, I shall go switch to the next one and bring that down. Incredible. I should get it down in one piece first time. Well, at least for the second one anyway. And not too far away from a science base either. Overall, I think this is not pretty good, really. Not so I can blow me on trumpet. Obviously, I mentioned that way the rover thing does the experiment. This thing, will, this thing that's put in front of me will let me reset the experiment. And then space planes will let me take set experiments back up to the, um, the space station. And of course I've got to dock it to actually get the experiments back, so... You know, just on the side of it. Got a little, little port there from CAS. And if you'll see here, it's actually got the CAS... Um, Cable thingy majiggy. Forgot, forgot what it's called now. Winch. I really should have checked that it plugs together before I set off. But where's the fun in that? And obviously I got the power from the rover. P 
complementing as well. So two kerbals to give full full stuffing to it. And I think it should work first time as planned. Obviously I need to get the experience out. Now is dump it in this place plane ready to be taken back and then reset the um, science pod on it. I might send one of these lucky kerbals off for a ride to the ocean next. I'll send him for an ocean drive. You know, as soon as we come this far, I'll send it, I'll send it for a ride at the seaside.
so much science. I figure at some point lathe will have biomes, so there'll be plenty to explore on lathe. So now we're kind of limited, but we can get as much as I can out of it. What I've got is pretty interesting so far. Guess the next step is always to get the personal Kerbal information, really. I.e. a sample of it. 360 science. Hmm, not so much, but still I'm gonna good enough. Okay, I just need to clean the experiments out. And then do one last set of them and that's gonna be it for the amount of science I can get from lathe. Well no more bad for a day's work really. It's uh, started in the morning on lathe, and I'll be finished in four night form. Mm. Even though this in terms of science is all I can get from lathe really, it's still quite a lot of the world I can explore. And I think for the next time I come here I'll be bringing some kind of airship that uses balloons or something like that. Just for the simple fact that well, I can get a lot further with it really, in a lot less time. So now that's all I have to do process of science and get it back to the ships.
it's just a case of getting you this the other one back up, rendezvousing with the space station, and that's the exploration of Latham complete then. So I'd like to say thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed the video, hope you've you learned something as well from it, and hope it inspires you to do more science. Thanks for watching.